everyone i'm back with another video today i did think it would probably be you know when i was in um center parks but of course that didn't go to plan because we ended up back on lockdown and now we're back in tears so i couldn't do that video for you then we were gonna go to chester so i was like well i'm gonna vlog in chester and then that didn't happen either so i was like well what video can i put up because i, I do like putting videos up but i just didn't know what and i wanted it to be something christmasy so i thought i'd come back with a christmas guy video for her i'm not going to be doing a him video just because my family is just full of girls so there's only a couple of males that i actually buy for in my life and one of them would mostly be for my boyfriend and so it'd be just showing his stuff in the video which he does watch my video so then he'd know everything that he gets so that's one of the reasons why I'm not going to be doing a gift guide for him, but just one for her because I can just show you my things and stuff that I've brought lately. I've tried to make this as quirky as possible because I have seen absolutely loads of gift guide videos because I do love watching them myself just for ideas. And I just thought I'd um, want to show a couple of different ones, different things that maybe people really think about buying, but for just a little bit different um, some of these are also small companies, you know, and I feel like in a time that we're going through at the moment, I feel like it's important to support your local and small um, companies, especially with everything going on. And I feel like the presentation that a lot of small companies put into their stuff is so much more effort, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm going to just crack on and show you some of the stuff from the small companies first. So, if you, you know, been following me on YouTube or on um, Instagram or anything like that, then you'll know that I am a big Disney fan. And I did see a couple of weeks ago on, um, I think it was Instagram, that someone had been advertising like Disney stuff, like Disney bath bombs, soaps and stuff like that. And I saw the, the company and have actually got their little gift tag here. It's Tales of Toria Soaps, if you can just see that. And it's vegan and cruelty free and... The, st the bath stuff that they do is all Disney and it just sold me looking at it. Uh, you know, it's an alternative, you know, if you don't want to buy Lush all the time. Although I love Lush as well. I do actually buy Lush quite a lot. I just, I think it's a bit different, especially if you're a big Disney lover like myself. Or even if you wanted to get stuff for you, you know, your children, a friend who's a big Disney lover. Or even your mom or your dad, maybe. So I'm just going to show you a couple of products from them. So this one's the Lotso Hugs. And the packaging is so cute. It comes in all multicolored packaging, different bags. The presentation is so lovely. I mean, it comes in a, a box with these as well, which I know that you can um, recycle them, isn't it? So yeah, this is a Lotso Hugs bath bomb. And I'm just going to show you what this will look like. And this just looks like this. And I can smell strawberry. It just, honestly, the presentation, I just love it. How cute is that? I mean, these would be great for, um, these would be great for, you know, Christmas Eve boxes for the kids, 100%. So I also got Lost Princess, which is a soap. Oh, if I can get it off. And this is in Rapunzel, as you can see there. How cute is that though? Seriously, that is so cute. I don't actually know, I'm not crying by the way, one of my eyes is watering because a certain makeup must just make make me water. Um, I don't know how much these all are, so what I'd say to do is, what I'm gonna do is put the links at the bottom. I know with this company, they sell really quick. I know they have like, a release date every friday i think it is when they bring like a batch out and they sell mega quick there was a couple of things i actually wanted to get that i couldn't get the one time because they'd sold out there was mickey's magic which is the cookies and cream one i'm sure it is yeah it's the cookies and cream one and that just looks like that and then we have i'm going to show you this one as well the healthcare companion and this one is I've showed you the wrong one. I've put, I must have put them in the wrong thing, but I did get a stitch one anyway. <laughs> Just in case you wanted to see that. And then I also got Pumpkin King, and this is inspired from Nightmare Before Christmas. And that's got a very musky smell. 
so yeah they're just so cute that i've got absolutely loads in here but i'd be here all day if i showed you every single one um but they're really reasonable and not too much either to pay for i think they're like three four pound you're looking at for a one so yeah i will leave that company below because they i think they're a yorkshire brand i think i'm not too sure but i i will put the links below then i also saw another disney um like small company based that do wax melts and they're disney wax melts again and I, honestly the smells for this are amazing i think they're like what one pound 80 or something to buy one of these and they're they're so cute this one's called lavender fields and as you can see there it's got the castle on honestly the scents for this are amazing i brought a couple of wax melts a couple of years ago um from a small base company and i wasn't over keen on them and it's always put me off really buying wax melts unless it was like a yankee candle one and these are just so much different they're so strong and they're really pretty as well then we've got a keris bakery and this one is like a fruit loops kind of looking i get a really like fruity smell to this oh but it's so nice it smells a bit like cereal like a fruity cereal if that makes any sense at all <laughs> then i got another one i'm trying to not i probably won't have time to show you every single one because like i said i'd be here all day but then i got a mind frame one and this just this one is a beautiful one hence why i have to show you this one because it just comes with all these beautiful gems on if you can see that there Oh, and that smells, I get like a, a sweet smell from that, like a vanilla. Again, I love it. And I'll show you one more. There is one that's called Christmas tree. And this is obviously Christmas scented. And honestly, look how pretty that is. The detail to that with the glitter on, like so pretty they do so many wax melts they do they're gonna do over 20 easy um but i brought nine all together and it come up to just over 20 pound and i i don't regret any of it but i just felt like they're really cute stocking presents stocking fillers that you could put you know or even to your friends if you're doing like a little gift box you know people love wax melts you know they make the room smell nice and it stops you you know i prefer wax melts to candles because there's certain candles I can't have. I can't really have Yankee candles because I end up um, getting really poorly from it. So, yeah. Then speaking of candles, again, another small company that I'm going to be mentioning is the Wild Botanist. I know Gemma Miles. Is it Gemma Miles? I think on YouTube. I think her name's Gemma. I know her name's Gemma. I'm not sure about her last name. But she was going on about these, which is one of the reasons why I decided to buy some because they look absolutely amazing and i decided to pick up the ones in the bookcase collection so um you've got like a little stocking with it and then obviously you've got to pick three candles but i know you can buy these separately as well and you can basically it's the books they're based on books christmas books so the first one i got was the grinch and this smells very musky very very musky scent like like a male aftershave kind of scent to it but it's so cute they're um eco-friendly and there was another reason why i brought this um i think it's because it's the burning on it it's more safer to burn this than it is to burn like uh, um yankee candles yankee candles are actually really dangerous um i know burning all candles are probably dangerous but these are actually more safe to to use so yeah that's the first one then I picked up the Polar Express. I kind of picked up really by names, my favourite um, books, favourite films, because most of these are films. That's to me smells like a Cherry Bakewell and probably one of my favourite ones. I love that one. And then the last one I got was A Christmas Carol, which I think was my boyfriend's favourite one. And this is probably the most Christmassy scent out of the, all of them because it's very cinnamon scented and on the back of every one there's a quote if you can you're not going to see it that well from here but there's a quote with like must be from the book and it's just so cute they look really cute i've put them on my um chest of drawers with like um all this like christmasy decorations around it to make it look really pretty but honestly guys these these are just so pretty to have and again 
you could buy them for yourself or again it's nice stocking presents but an alternative to yankee candles which i'm just not about so yeah on to perfumes so i absolutely love perfumes if there's one thing i feel like a, a person should be it's smelling good so um i'm just going to tell you um some of my favorite perfumes so Mondelaine, if that's how you pronounce it is one of my favorite perfumes i absolutely love this it's not cheap but honestly if you want that sophisticated classy scent i highly recommend going for this um brilliant i love it and then my other one is the bronze goddess Esther Lauder, which I actually picked up in the airport one time. And this has got like a coconut kind of like summer scent. So definitely recommend for your holidays, which I know aren't happening at the moment with COVID. But you want to get that, you want to prepare, you want to pretend that you're on holiday, then get this perfume. And it's actually not reasonable price saying that I did get it from the airport. But again, I love it. And then I'm going to talk about something a little bit different, but still perfume related. So um, a couple of months back, obviously, we went to a perfume making um, session, like a perfume making class. And I went there with one of my friends and um, it was like a, like a gift like thing that you can do. And what you do is you make your own perfume there. And what they do is you they come around and they show you different scents and you have to pick which ones you like, which ones you don't like. You write them all down. They give you like this coffee to like give you enhance your, um, your smells and stuff like that. And then you pick which perfume you want at the end of the thing. And you know, there's cute like little champagne, little things to have on the table. It was just really cute and we had a really fun day. And obviously at the end of it, you pick what you want to call your perfume. Obviously I call mine Kellabelle. And then they just say who blended it for you and what date it was done and who designed the perfume. It's so, it's just such a quirky, unique thing. And I'm one of those people, usually, if I weren't on lockdown, I'd be doing things like this all the time because I love to, like, get creative and get off my phone. And it's just a good way of, like, um, socialising with your friends as well. And I know they do these um, classes on Virgin Experience. I actually booked one of mine off Facebook, so I don't know how they do that with the events and stuff. But I know you can book one of these off virgin experience or you can actually go buy the perfume studio to do it and they do it in every single area i know that there's a lot of areas that hold these classes i mean i know you probably can't at the moment with everything going on but if you've got a voucher i imagine it'd probably be held for like 12 months or something so great present if you're someone that's not really materialistic Another quirky thing um, for you to do if you know you like to get out again and you're not very militaristic is the art night. This is my painting that I did at art night. It's not the best going, but I had so much fun. This was just before the first lockdown happened and we were lucky enough to still go to the first art night. And again, I will put the link down for art night. I know there's none available for this year, but I think from March next year, they've started to put classes back on. And what you do is you pay to go on an art night. I mean, you don't even have to go with anyone. You can go on your own. Um, there was a few people there who'd gone on their own when I went to one. Again, I went with my friend. And you just, they learn you how to do, there's different different art, like um, pictures you can do. And you pick on the, like online which one you want to do. And this is the one that we wanted to do because it was just colourful in your face. And I think it's something like £30 or something like that. So again, if your friend's very artistic, creative, likes to likes paintings and likes to make things, this would be the ideal present. And I know there's a couple of classes in March that they've started now if you wanted to book for next year, because hopefully, fingers crossed, things might be a little bit more normal by then. So yeah, another great quirky idea. If I got that of a friend, I'd be absolutely happy. So Moving on to books, I thought I'd show a couple of books in here because I absolutely love reading and I feel like reading, especially over the winter, is something that gets you through the cold and it's, you know, it stops you from being bored and being on your phone all the time. So I thought I'd show you a few books that I recommend. The first one's Caraval, which is about a carnival, a magic carnival and games and it's got romance in it. It's just absolutely brilliant, but it's about two girls who one of the sisters gets trapped in the game and the only way for her to get out of the game is for a sister to participate in the game. It's honestly, it's brilliant. I've read the first two books because it is a trilogy. I haven't read the third one yet, but highly recommend if you're into fantasy to read this one and it's a five out of five for me. And then the second book is the one of the latest books that I've actually just read and it's called The Inheritance Games. 
and this is actually a contemporary book which is about a girl who is very poor and then one day yeah it's about a girl who inherit, inherits a billionaire's fortune and all of them are kind of like questioning why she's inherited a, bill a billionaire's money when there's a lot of family members that want the money so there's a lot of games a lot of clues going on it, they say it's we were lawyers meets the da vinci code kind of thing it's a lot going on knives out kind of feel to it so yeah so there is a little bit of a romance in it as well because there's the grandsons that want the money because she's having the money so yeah if you if you've never seen this before i highly recommend picking this one up because it's what about six pound on amazon and i really enjoyed it so yeah a really quick easy paced book as well to get you through now it wouldn't be a youtube video beauty kind of gift guide without at least one beauty item so i decided to pick up one of my favorite makeup palettes and i decided to pick up the tarte toilette toasted just because i feel like this is one of those palettes that suits nearly every single skin tone and everyone can wear it kind of thing it's quite versatile and the packaging is just beautiful i just feel like it's such a sophisticated palette and if you can just see the colors there very 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 warm neutral colors and again like i say i just feel like this is the kind of palette that would suit most people so if you're kind of like new to makeup and you're not really sure what to get or maybe buying for a daughter or something like that and they're new to makeup and they never try makeup then this would be ideal one but maybe not younger daughters maybe i'm feeling like this would be more high um old teenagers so yeah definitely try this one out if you're looking for a new eyeshadow palette that you've never tried before so there you go one for all the people that like a drink so no people under 18 basically so i decided to show you a couple of cheap um alcohol ideas to give to people because i feel like there's one thing at christmas people like to be gifted and i'm never like oh i didn't really want that kind of thing ungrateful for then it's alcohol so one of them i decided to show you was the ballycastle limited edition caramel and hazelnut which you can actually get from aldi i think it's like six or seven pound it's very affordable and if you like baileys then you 100 percent like this because it's so nice um i still haven't picked up the white chocolate one yet and i really do want to try that one because i've heard amazing things about that too but if you've never tried the bally castles and then you're a big baileys lover definitely definitely try it because it's so good and it's i don't feel like it really gets you drunk either so maybe it's not as strong as baileys i don't know and then the other one is the toffee apple gin liqueur which i think is from home bargains correct me if i'm wrong and that's about 10 11 pound and if you're a big guy and toffee lover sweet lover then you will like this and i still have these because originally i'm sure they were for just like the autumn like halloween season but they're still in stock they're still there um the last time i went they were still there anyway and i just feel like home bargains is one of them places that you can get such a nice gin to like give to someone so yeah i'm sorry if you can hear that noise my dog's just like turning around <laughs> around the back from the camera so yeah and then the last thing i'm going to show you is probably the most expensive thing out the whole of this video because i've tried to show you cheap affordable things really for um to gift and this would be a tiffany and co jewelry i just feel like if you're looking to treat your partner or treat your mom maybe or someone who you really care for tiffany's is probably one of those jewelry that you just know they're really gonna like and this wasn't too expensive for a tiffany necklace i brought this in new york and i think it was like 160 pound or something like that but you know the gift it's just one of those things you know they're gonna keep forever you know they're not gonna like chuck it away and again i just got the one the return to tiffany's necklace if you can just see that there i feel like this is like the generic one that most people have but do you know what it's just a beautiful gift and you can wear it for a nice special occasion as well i just love the packaging to, to tiffany's i just feel like the packaging in tiffany's is just beautiful so yeah 
that is everything that I've brought. Well, I say brought, I didn't buy any of this. Well, I did probably a long time ago, half of it. But this is everything that I've picked for my gift guide video. I hope you enjoyed it. Just little quirky things for you to try if you've never tried it before or to gift to someone or maybe to gift to yourself. If you're looking at this thinking of ideas, do you? I do that actually. Does anyone else do that? Watch gift guide videos and be like, yeah, I want to buy that myself now. Because that is me, that is me all over. I'll literally watch so many gift guiding videos and be like, yeah, I want that now, actually. I'm going to put that on my wish list for Christmas. So, yeah, that's everything for now. Have a safe, have a safe evening and have a good evening. Bye.